Hello, comrades. Здравствуйте, товарищи. My name is Lex Demidov, and you are watching the Second World War Red Army costume review. So this is not the full costume. It's all what I got from the parcels, but it will be interesting if you're gonna stay with us and watch this video. I promise you. At this moment of filming of this video, I haven't played the Second World War uh, games yet, but I will do. As I said in one of my reviews, if you haven't seen, you must see the review of Nagan Mosin replica that I did a Soviet uh, rifle and I got two boxes. First box is from my friends. One of them I meant already, it's a Roman Kaboshka. He's a visual effect master, artist, and uh, he helped me to organize all the parcel, all the, all the delivery. But the guy who did the main uniform for me, and we will see, we, we will see everything. His name is Alexander Karo and um, he did the uniform. So, these guys are from Latvia. In this box, there are some pouches, some magazines, some belts. It's from Russia, so I find an online shop and I bought it from Russia and I got this delivery from Russia. So, what we're gonna do, we're gonna open those boxes with you. They absolutely, this is very important, the boxes are absolutely sealed. I didn't see them, I have no idea what's inside, I don't know how it looks like. That's why I'm doing this now, because I want to share my emotions with you. So, let's start with the first box from Latvia, from Alexander Karo, who did a main uniform. As I know, there should be pants, there should be gymnastyorka, and there should be belt, there should be pilotka and uh, boots. So, let's see. I thought for a second that I need a knife, but then I remembered I'm in a workshop and there should be any problems with the knives. So, Milwaukee knife, gently we're gonna open this parcel. As I said, it's all sealed. I did not open it before, I need to be careful. There is a uniform. Uh, how to open this? Ah, I got it. Thanks to Roman Kaboshka again. I just wanna say one more time, guys. Roman Kaboshka and Alexander Karo, they are my friends. Alexander doing, as I know, I don't know so well Alexander, but we were talking quite a lot on the phone. And what I want to say that Alexandra is doing the uniform for the cinema, for the movies, for the theaters. And it's one of his, um, I wouldn't say hobby. <clears throat> I would say that's the thing what he's doing. He really good in a Second World War uniform with, uh, as I know also, the old type of uniforms, military uniforms with the old little details and uh, things so he know historically historically exactly what should be where thanks alexander let's see okay i'm i'm gonna take the camera so okay boots <laughs> and everything is inside <laughs> well done guys well done so i'm gonna put the camera back beautiful 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 Thank you very much again, Roman Kaboshka, who did pack it for me. And as I said in my Mosin Gun review, Roman is my friend from Latvia. We did a lot of projects back to Latvia. Some of them were really nice. Like, I mean, all of them were really nice. Okay, let's go back to the <clears throat> uniform. So this is a pilotka and as I remember, please say my size. Yes, 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 it's my size, guys. It is my size. So, if I remember, it was like this and a little bit on the right. Something like that. I need to watch a video on YouTube how to wear a Russian pilotka. So, this is a pilotka, then pants. And the first surprise is, guys, it's not a replica, it's an original. I mean, it's an original material from Soviet Union oh my godness you're not gonna believe it it's cannot be all right I'm not sure but there is a stamp I will show it closer to you there's a stamp and yeah it's a f it's a five I said three so it's a 58th year of production so at this moment of the recording of this video it's a 2022 these pants are same model and make absolutely what they were using in a second world war Russian Soviet Union Red Army and they are from uh, 
from the warehouse. Warehouse, yes. Sklot. I was, I forgot the word. So the idea is, after the Second World War, the there was a lot of materials and uh, a lot of um, like warehouses still were packed with a uniform. And even now, in 2022, you can find in Belarus, in Russia, sometimes in the Baltic countries like Lithuania, Estonia, Latvia, but mostly in the Bel Belarus and Russia, you can find an original Soviet Union uniform and dress. So, and this one is a brand new, brand new, never worn from 58 guys. It's brilliant. Look, I mean, I'm shocked. There's a first surprise, Alexander. Respect. Now it's 2022, this is 58. So it's a 42 plus 22, 64. Am I right? 64 years old pants. How do you, trousers. How do you like it, guys? Trousers, yeah, trousers. I can't what. Brukki uh, štani. In Russian, as I know, they call the shiravare. If I'm right, they call the shiravare because of this type, of this type. So in there, you know what, I'll put this box on the side, okay, so you can see me. Bloody hell, I'm, I'm, I'm shocked, I'm absolutely shocked. All right, we got Shiravari, Shtani, trousers, beautiful, and a Pilotka, of course, Pilotka. And he said to me that this one is also original. The star, the red star, guys, it's not a fake, it's original. I don't know what the year is, but the star is original. I'm I'm shocked. Oh my god, you know, I mean it's so cool to just hold it in the hands and think about this. It's a kind of real type uniform, you know. It's not it's not something you buy from the like replica shops. So another thing what I, I was talking to Roman yesterday and he said to me that the boots are also original guys 73 it's a 73 year 1973 so in um, russia we call this material kirza it's kind it's not a leather it's a kind of a rubbery leather what was used in soviet um, army for a long 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 time and it was much cheaper than do the boots and it was cheaper than do it with a like real leather so they use the Kirza. Um, you know what? I'm going to take my phone. We're going to use a Google Translate because I need to know these words in English. Tarpaulin boots. Tarpaulin. Tarpaulin boots. Is it called a tarpaulin boots? Yeah. Let's uh, just Google it again. So just to make sure. Yeah. 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 I put the tarpaulin boots and I see the Kirza with Sapagi in there. So yeah, it's a kind of material. Yeah, definitely. Tarpaulin boots goes in there. And the last one is uh, Gimnastyorka. Okay, and this is another surprise from the guys, from the Alexander Caro and uh, Roman Kaboshka. So this one was done by Alexander. I sent my measurements. He did this one for me. And the make and model, every single stitch, every pocket, every button is on the right place as it should be because he's a professional. But surprise is those things um they again original from soviet army and this one was a rifleman just the first rank of rifleman so yeah the ranks inside the red army increased by the soviet army force and the yeah i think it's gonna be like a buttonholes maybe so another piece of originality in my uniform so we put this in there and as i remember there should be a belt yes and belt 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 also looks like it's not replicated because it looks absolutely awesome this type of belt was used from beginning on the second world war by red army soldiers it's not kind of this the brass one with a star no it actually was this type of belt so and i think what we need to do i just have to wear all this oh. 
guys everything fits absolutely perfectly I just still need to find out a little details how they put like all little sides how uh, uh, high was the belt but I will find this all out what I want to say it's absolutely awesome feeling as I know this belt goes in there it's not the kind of belt that holding the pants so feeling is absolutely awesome it's nice and free it's gonna be really easy for me to play as uh, soft and uh, I mean just just great guys one more time, thank you Alexander, thank you Roman, and um, let's move to our second parcel. So, let's see what we got in there. As I said again, it's all packed, so first of all, yes, so I'm, I'm sorry, I'm gonna just go like this, okay? It's not a Christmas present, so we're not gonna take, yes. So the first thing is, it's a very important little accessory. Every Red Army soldier used to have this type of book in his uh, pocket. And this is a really nicely done replica of the Red Army book. In Russian, it's called the Krasnarmiyske Knishka. So what it actually was, it was kind of like ID for the Soviet Union soldier. There was a picture name, surname, uh, a rank, uh, army, and uh, so who is the lieutenant and the command of the army so your nationality year of birth uh, when did you start uh, your like when did you start an army uh, a lot of stuff but also the very important part is uh, what have been given to the soldier so there's like a belt uh, there is belt for the trousers belt a sling for the rifle uh, bag bag for the food uh, um, a lot of words that I don't know how to still pronounce in English, but I will try. That's why I'm doing my blog. And this is kind of important. Oh, there is a hat, there is a, again, a gymnastorka, then trousers, a lot of stuff. So, and uh, who give it, when you give it back, the year and the month. But what I thought is cool, I mean, if you build a... If I want to build a real costume of the Second World War Red Army soldier, I just follow this. I'm just gonna look for all this stuff and keep it in my, I don't know, wardrobe in my house. And then I know that I can replicate everything what they guys used to wear. So the shop did a nice, really present for me. Look at this, look at this, guys. Oh my goodness, there is a little present from them. And the present is a beige. And the beige is VLKSM. It's um, okay. If you can read in uh, Wikipedia, if you want, it's another kind of uh, Soviet Union party was that everyone was. But look at this really nice beige that you can put in there with your Red Army book with these little badges. And I think this type of accessories they actually make the game. You know, they make it look nice and uh, like you feel all this during the game and it's cool. Um, I did try to buy them from different people uh, around the Europe and they all fake. It's all cheap printed, uh, homemade, sh I'm sorry for my language, but the, from Russia they coming exactly how they should be. So this type of material that's like really close to original. I'm so glad, so happy with the quality of the replica. There are two books. One will go to my friend, another one will go to me because I noticed once, mentioned to my friend that I'm gonna order this and he said, oh, can you order this little accessory for me? Maybe it's gonna be a good beginning for him to start playing airsoft with the frontline events as a Soviet Union soldier. All right, what we have next? And next one is... Ooh. Ooh, this is all the bags for the ammo, for the spare ammo, that I need to watch a video again, yes, so it's all for the magazines, for the bullets, uh, for the Mosin gun, yeah, as I said, there is a video on a YouTube channel how I did a Mosin gun review, so this is kind of a spare ammo bags. I don't remember, this is a Suharka, I think this is like a little bag that you used to wear just to get some kind of uh, extra stuff for yourself and of course the most important part was is uh, pouches for the ammo it's a Formosan gun two doubles 
really nice leather guys i mean you know respect really respect to the shop from russia to doing so nice replicas absolutely respect because i mean the quality is amazing absolutely amazing quality look at the thickness of the leather i mean real i think it's real definitely because it's so nice i mean to hold it yeah some wears and tears would be really nice but um I think a couple of games in a good environment and all the costume will get the look. Not like I'm a fashion model, but like a real soldier. So I got two of them. I got two of them. They go, I don't know how they go. We will find it out. And the Y piece strap. So this idea was kind of like that, as I know. And then everything is put it in a right ways okay i find uh, how to use this one for my voice recorder <laughs> all right again i'm sorry for this one voice recorder yeah but what i'm trying to say is this is not a full set guys this is not a full uh, there are still i need to shuffle uh, lapatka and uh, i yeah this one is a grenade bag that should be on the side there i mean it was it was really really quick i just wear it all right uh, that's it so i put everything what i had yeah there is an extra ammo bag i still need to buy a lot of gear i still need to buy a lot of stuff to finish this costume to finish this uniform but so far so good and i'm very happy with the sizes that everything fits everything is perfect one more time thank you very much to the everyone who supported this video thank you everyone for your subscription for your likes and uh, thanks roman kaboshka and thanks alexander caro who did um, who sent me this costume and alexander thank you for making this costume and yeah see you next time guys thank you very much for watching and take care